Okay, so we're going to do a video this morning about uh, how to install and use uh, the DESI labeling software um, for your phone labels. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a uh, web browser and uh, let's go to DESI.com, www.desi.com. Okay, this is the DESI download section. Uh, move this over to the right screen here. So we're going to go to desi.com and we're going to come down here to downloads. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on that downloads button. It's going to give you a couple different options here. Um, I do not believe this is compatible with uh, uh, Mac uh, that I'm aware of. I don't see any Mac download on here, so um, I believe it's for Windows uh, only. So you're going to have to determine if you have a 30 bit. 32-bit or a 64-bit Windows machine. Um, how you can tell, come down here and hit your start button. Right-click on my computer, go to properties, and it should show you your operating system right here. Okay, as you can tell, we've got a 64-bit OS. Um, anything that's been made from probably 2012 and on is more than likely a 64-bit operating system. Um, very rare to see 32. Um, on the newer newer stuff out there so now that's how you tell what your operating system is so we're on 64 bits so I'm gonna hit the 64 bit option it's gonna download it right over here and once it's finished okay go ahead and let's click on it let's run that software Um, go ahead and do a complete install. Okay, looks like it's copying the files over here. Should be done momentarily. Well, it does not normally take this long. I'm not sure why it's running so slow today. Wow, it's taking a long time. It does not normally take that long. Usually it's about 30 seconds to install it. So There we go. Finally finished. Okay, click our finish button. Now we can close the web page down. It's going to put an icon on your desktop. Okay, I typically throw mine down here on my toolbar because I use it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up our DESI software. It's going to load all the new templates. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here if we're going to hit add. Uh, you just need to put something in this field. You can put whatever you want. Um, doesn't have to be anything relevant. Just put something in there. Uh, right here is where you're going to pick your product family. These are all the different Desi templates that are available out there. Okay, um, we're an ESI dealer, so I'm going to pick ESI. Um, and over here, you got your different phone models: 12 key, 24 key, 30, 40, 48, 55, 60, so on and so forth. So, if I pick a 48 key label. I hit OK. Now you can come in here and you can type whatever you want in these. Okay. You can click on the box, you can bold, you can italicize, um, you can even change the color, you know, to a different color. 
um, if you want. Um, pretty simple. Uh, now what you're going to want to do when you're done filling out your template, um, let's go ahead and come up here and hit File, Save As. Let's save this template somewhere, um, you know, as a test, so you always have that template, okay? Um, now as far as printing is concerned, um, the best recommendation I can give you is slide your paper tray out. Okay, don't take the paper out, leave the paper in there, draw an arrow on the page. Okay, draw an arrow on the page. Typically I do it facing the printer, so the arrow will be towards the printer itself. Okay, and then do a print. Okay, and print that label on a blank piece of paper, and uh, once it comes out of the printer, then you can kind of see based on your arrow what direction the piece of paper needs to go in there okay and so what you want to do once you print that label on that blank piece of paper you want to put a, a label and that blank piece of paper together and hold them up to the light and make sure that your printing is going to line up with your button spots because it can be just a little bit off and it makes a huge difference so what you want to do if obviously if it lines up perfectly just go ahead and slide your label in there the direction that it's supposed to go and you know print away uh, I recommend printing one at a time you don't want to stick a whole bunch of these in your printer because your printer will eat them because they have uh, perforated holes you know on the paper that will get caught up in the printer if you try to do a whole bunch of them at a time so uh, the these labels are about a dollar a piece so you don't want to waste them uh, if possible so uh, go ahead and print you a blank one first just to make sure that it lines up correctly in the event that it does not line up just right usually you don't have to adjust side to side you have to adjust up and down sometimes it'll print over the hole sometimes it'll print up a little bit too high you know whatever the case may be uh, in order to adjust that come up here and hit file uh, precise printer adjustment and you come over here like I said, typically you don't have to adjust the left and right. The left and right is usually pretty good. Uh, the up and down, sometimes you, you have to adjust. If you'll read this right here, a negative number will shift your text toward the top of the page. A positive number will shift the text towards the bottom of the page. So you can just use these arrows here to go negative or positive, you know, whatever you want. Now, a lot of times just zero works fine. Uh, just basically depends on the printer. You know, some printers have to be adjusted and some do not so uh, when when you do have to make an adjustment you know say it say it is printing too high um, and you want to bring it down some just do it a couple of increments at a time okay don't don't do big jumps uh, just do two to three uh, uh, settings at a time don't don't make huge adjustments because usually it doesn't take much uh, to move it down a little bit or move it up either way so uh, once you've made that adjustment, go ahead and hit OK, and then print you another blank one. Don't put a don't put a uh, label in it just yet. Print a print another blank one. Again, put it on top of one of your labels. Hold it up to the light. You know, look through it. Make sure it's going to line up correct. And then once it does, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, start printing away. Uh, that's really all there is to the uh, Desi labeling systems. Pretty simple to do. Um, uh, you can create yourself templates for various different types of phones. Uh, you can create yourself templates for, for various users. You know, if, if certain users have the same uh, button layout on their phone, you know, you can create a user for them, create their template, and then you can go back and make changes to their template without having to uh, type it all out again. So that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. That really helps us out a ton if this video was helpful. And uh, we'll see you on uh, more videos to come. Thank you.